Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at this book. It says TM92820, War Department Technical Manual, Shop Mathematics, War Department, 3rd of May, 1945. Wow. Wow, I was going to give this a whiff here. Just Oh, wow, that's old. Yeah. Let's open it up and see what we have. From Curtis Henry to... Dominic uh, something, and there's an address, and then Shop Mathematics. This is so old. You wonder if these people are still around. Um, 45 was a long time ago. This manual contains copyrighted material. War Department, Washington, D.C., May 3rd, 1945. Wow. It's published for the information and guidance of all concerned. By order of the Secretary of War. G.C. Marshall, Chief of Staff. Wow, this is like really official. Very uh, serious book. General, common and decimal fractions. Common fractions, ratio, proportion, and percentage, square roots. Algebra, plain and solid figures, trigonometry, mechanics, mathematics for the mach 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 machinist, cutting speeds and feeds, Mathematics for the sheet metal worker. Mathematics for the carpenter. What's it say here? Let's take a look at this. This is interesting. The purpose of this manual is to provide a practical treatment of elementary mathematics and a discussion with illustrative examples of the mathematics involved in actual shop work. Wow. That's cool. Pretty cool. Some stuff here with, with fractions, definitions, value of a fraction, common denominator, fractional parts of a unit, some things there. Let's turn on the page, see what else we have over here. More stuff here with gallons and quarts. And I guess they're using that to illustrate the concept of a fraction, so that's cool. Let's jump ahead a couple pages, see if we can switch content, see what else we have. Positive and negative numbers, addition of positive and negative numbers, and then subtraction of positive and negative numbers, really basic mathematics. And this is shop mathematics. Multiplication and division of positive and negative numbers. And you know, this is before calculators, right? Think about that. So you didn't have calculators and you had to do all these computations, so it was pretty important. Addition and subtraction of polynomials. Let's skip ahead, switch topics. Oh, trigonometry. It's got trigonometric functions. Oh, I gotta smell this, just... Oh, incredible. So we have some trig functions. Let's fix this here. Some tables of values and stuff for the trig functions. Mathematics for the machinist. Dimensions of American national thread. Screw and thread designation. Hmm. V thread. Find the proportions of a quarter inch 20 NC thread. Huh. So a lot of mathematics here, right? Shop mathematics. Checking tool bit. Buttress thread. I wonder if this is even still, I mean, is this taught? I, I've never seen, um, certainly not in like regular math classes. Uh, work and power. I mean, you do you do do a lot of these things. Just some of these applications. Um, oh, that smells good. Oh well, you don't see. Uh, you don't see. And in the back of the book, what do we have? We have an index. Let's take a look at that. We do have an index? I should be gentle with my copy. And we have a list of references. So here's something. What's that say? Huh. Hmm. Something mom and dad, yeah, I don't know. Appendix. 
These are, the, these are the answers. These are the answers to problems. Okay. So we have answers in the back of the book. That's, that's very, very uh, useful. The answers are in Appendix 3. I was like, yeah, they look like answers. Yep, that's super useful. So you can check your work. And in theory, you could use this for self-study and learn shop mathematics if you wanted to. Um, and yeah, I wonder if it's even taught. I mean, um, how is this stuff done today? I mean, carpenters, I guess, still need math, right? I mean, I don't know. I am certainly not a carpenter. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's common rafter, rafter length, the ridge. The pitch is the rise over the span. Hmm. The common roof pitches. How to find the cuts for a common rafter. Hmm. Carpenter Square. Yeah, a lot of interesting things. Who? Oh, ma mathematics for the electrician. Yeah, I actually have a friend who's really good at this stuff. And he knows all, all about circuits. He can make things. He can make electronic devices with his hands. It's really cool. He'll like buy the stuff and make things. He knows about <clears throat> remote controls and how to get them to work and stuff. It's pretty cool. Mathematics for the sheet metal worker. Oh, the scent. Oh, the scent. The scent. It's calling me. There's a cool picture. Driver, 64 teeth, idler gear, driven gear. What's this? Using a center gauge, huh? One foot every second. One horse lifts 550 pounds one foot every second. This equals 33,000 pounds in one minute and is one horsepower. That's cool. Ha! <laughs> Check that out. Look at that. Make sure you can read that. That's really cool. So it says one horse lifts 550 pounds one foot. Oh, I can maybe just zoom in. Maybe a little, you can see a little bit better. One of my lights here, um, these are really terrible lights and they, they fall over. And one of them just kept falling, so I finally decided I need to get another light. So I only have one light. It's dark in here. That is cool. What a cool thing with horsepower. Very interesting book. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. Whoa, what's this? Look at this. This is cool. Plain and solid figures. It's a tank car. Pretty interesting book, yeah. Um, I'll, uh, I'll leave a link in the description if I can find it. I don't think I'll be able to. Um, subscribe if you want to, and I have courses. Check them out. Uh, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. I've got courses on tons of math. Take care.